Next, Candace Jedwist is here with her great sun catcher. And it's made out of a soda can. I love soda cans because they have wonderful colors. Candace, what are you up to? Hmm. Okay, Eco Heidi. You have really piqued my interest. I love a good challenge from you. For this one, I'm gonna go diving into my recycle bin. <gasps> oh, I've got a great idea. Wait till you see. Sit back and relax, cause here we go. I began this project with a clamshell plastic clamshell. This one had my printer inks in it and a can of soda. And this had such pretty colors on it, I decided this is what I wanted to use. So the first thing I did was cut a square out of the can. And you want to try to get it where the most color is. And then you're going to try to round it because what you want is a circle, roughly. Like that. And be very careful because it's very sharp. Now I'm going to cut a spiral. The soda can spiral is going to be the base of your light catcher. Okay, so I end up with a small piece like that that's going to be the top of it that I'll string the long string through that will hang it up. The plastic can be any kind of plastic at all. And you want to cut it into strips so that each piece is about the same length. And then choose colors that will be beautiful on the plastic. I love this one. This one might be my favorite. Some of the colors aren't as brilliant. This is an orange. And I prefer this orange to the regular dark orange because that on the plastic mostly just looks red. But you can turn it over and color it over and this will be closer to a nice orange. And then you want to cut out your strips and what I did was cut them at an angle, because that's the look that I want. And then you'll want to poke a hole wherever you want it to hang. If you want the skinny end down, then do that. So there is one piece of the light catcher. And these are the little pieces that come out when you punch the holes, which I just think are adorable, and I know I need to use them for something. <laughs> so. Next step, you want to put holes in your hanger. And you can use whatever size hole you want and make as many holes or as few holes as you want. I spaced mine an inch apart. When it's time to put your light catcher together, you're going to want to have about four feet of string and a needle thin enough to go through some small beads. And you want a nice bead selection. This is my catch-all with a little bit of everything that I have. And I'm going to start at the outer edge and all I'm going to do is tie a knot at the very end. You 
you can choose to secure it with glue if you want, but it's really, it's really okay to just have a knot, I think, because the rest of it is sewn, so it's not likely to come apart. All right, then slide the bottom to, slide the knot to the bottom like that. Go down through. Choose a bead. Oh, I'm gonna see this bead here. Now what you need the beads to be is large enough in their hole to go back up through. So I'm gonna pick up a red piece. And you can do the pattern random if you want, or I think I'm gonna make these um, analogous colors, all except for the blue and the red. So I've gone back up through my bead, my accent bead, and I'm holding on to the plastic while I pull the string up because you want it fairly close. You don't want much string to be showing on the bottom. That's about right. You don't want it to be too tight because then it won't move. Now, I like to bead my string across to the next hole. So I'm just going to pick up some colors, some gorgeous colors and shapes. And then I'll look and see how much I need. Oh, probably three more beads. Check it. Yeah, I went a little bit too far, so I'm going to take one off. <laughs> this is what my mother would call a lazy tailor's stretch of string here. All right which I always was, although I was never a tailor. I was certainly a lazy sewer. So I always had terribly long strings. And then they catch on everything and they knot. But you know what? That's okay. So there you go. Now you've gone down into the second hole and you will pick up an accent bead. Ooh, see. Mm. This pink one here. Oh. Oh, for heaven's sake. And pick up the next color. If you know that it's going to be tight for your string to go through, you can hold the bead with the string on both sides and pull down on the string. Now, to get it close, remember, you pulled on the string while you held on to the plastic piece. And there you have it. Then you come back up through. Okay, now this has gotten loose, so I'm gonna pull this back down till that's tight. Hold on to the plastic piece and pull up. And then I'm going to bead this next stretch and add my next one. Wait till you see, it's going to be so cute. When you get to the very last hole, go down through it. And this is going to be your hanging mechanism. Pick up a bead, a nice big one with a big hole.
and then go back through it. Now you're almost ready for your hanging mechanism. I found after I did the last one that I thought the ring looked a little too close to the top of the light catcher, so I'm going to add some lovely beads to lengthen that just a little bit. And a little crystal one. Nope, that one's too tight. Ah, lovely. Now, this is the hang mechanism. So I'm going to do two loops through it. I'm going to go back down through the beads that I just strung. And there you have your hanging mechanism. Now, the very last part is to string your beads down the center string. And I'm just going to string mine in random order because there's so many different beautiful beads. Once you have the string, as long as you want it, and I measured it by how much room I had at the very bottom, I'm going to add one more on. Mm, yep, a blue one. And then I'm going to go back up through several beads and just like the other ones you can hold on to the plastic to tighten the string And you don't want it to be too tight. To finish it off, I'm just going to do a quick knot like that. You can use a dab of glue there or just cut it. This is going to be so pretty. Trim off your excess string here and there. Add glue wherever you want it. All right, I think that one's done. Well, it's finished. Do you want to see it? Here it is. Oh, I'm liking this a lot. That's going to be so sparkly in the window. I hope that you're inspired to try something like this, and I hope that if you do try it, I get to see it. Email me with your photos and stories at CandiceAtCoolToCraft.com. I want to share it with the world. Thanks for inviting me, Heidi. Keep on challenging me. I love it. Bye, everyone.